I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon, he's our yellow belly slider turtle. He's still sleeping in his bed this morning in the van. But today we are here in Frisco, Colorado. And today we're going to be, we, uh, we boondocked right here last night. Super nice little parking lot right here on the edge of town. Everything else in Frisco is between two and four, no parking in the streets. We even saw it too. I was up editing, saw the police go around with their lights on, making sure to clear the streets. But this was safe for one night, 24 hours. And if you missed the last video of us checking out this little town, I thought it was really cute. Pretty nice little place. Yeah, lots to see. Definitely a lot of restaurants. It's surrounded by the mountains, so gorgeous views. And last night they had the street blocked off, so people were just eating and drinking in the street. Very nice. But today, I think we're gonna head on out of here. If you wanna see the little town, check out yesterday's video. But today we're gonna get into something a little different, right? Yeah, we're actually gonna head into a Adventure Van Expo, and we're really excited to get into that, see that, and bring you along with us. All right, guys, it's in the next town over in Dillon, so it'll take us maybe uh, five, 10, 15 minutes to get there. Hopefully we can get some parking. We got some tickets online, they were free. So let's go check it out and see what it's all about. Well guys, it looks like that area up there is pretty full. So I'm gonna try to find a place to park. We made it here to the Adventure Van Expo here in Dillon, Colorado. We were able to find parking. It took a couple of times circling, but patience is a virtue. It works guys, we're in no rush, so worked out so we're gonna go check it out walk around see these rigs and see what bring you guys along definitely see what we can get into right here on the reservoir Selling their products. It looks like a nice uh, front end system. Your rig. Here's the Ford version of our little van. And they put a rooftop tent up on the top of it. Really nice. Looks like the conversion on the inside. We'll have to see what company does this. I don't know if I like the rooftop tents or not, guys. I like to be at a stealth camp in the van and everything and I know we got a lot of boxes and stuff on the top but having everything inside the van and compact is pretty nice but nice slide out kitchen that works I'm assuming that's a little refrigerator like I said mostly bed but that works if you're just on. And uh, 
First, I thought this unit here was a uh, you know swamp cooler. We see these all the time, but something interesting. You know, I'm always as an electrical engineer, we're always looking at different uh, AC units, and 12 volt caught my eye. So, you want to explain a little bit? Yeah. So my name's Elliot, and we're with Nomadic Cooling out of Phoenix, Arizona. And what we offer is 12 volt battery powered air conditioners. So you can throw these on uh, the roof of any application, and as long as you have either a 12 volt battery system or an alternator you can power these vehicles. We've had farmers throw these right on top of their tractors, power it from the alternator while they're out doing work in the field, or you can throw it on top of a sprinter. We have a 400 amp hour lithium battery in this system. For our systems, we recommend a minimum of 200 amp hours. That'll get you, you know, around two to three hours of that compressor run time. So we would have plenty at 500 amp hours. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, we you only have, have 300. Or AGM? Lithium, and then we Perfect. only have 300 amp hours. I mean, 300 watts of solar, 36 volts, it's a house panel. But. Okay, so uh, we always recommend, if you have that battery bank, you can absolutely use ours. We have 400 amp hours. We can typically run full power with the compressor on. Four to five hours we get a full eight hours during the night because the compressor you can set it to a certain temperature and it kicks on and off as needed so that compressor is not running the full time you get probably four hours through the night and then four hours of fan as well like in a regular ac and a and a and an rv that just runs continuously until the ice you know it makes mm -hmm. ice on the walls correct and Good as deal. far as compared to like a dometic mm -hmm. uh, dimensions wise we're about six inches longer four inches wider but six inches shallower as far as consumptions go, they typically run between uh, 1113 watts as far as during their full power. We run between 750 and 950. Uh, typically on startup, you'll be 50 to 60 amps. And then once some of that cold circulated air starts getting flowing through there, it becomes more efficient, drops down to around 40 amps. Uh, we also have an eco mode, which drops it down to 25 to 30 amps. Get a little bit less efficiency on the temperature, but still works great. Uh, we make them all and test them all in Phoenix, Arizona in our 10,000 square foot warehouse. Uh, we send you customized videos as we build them with your name and let you know how it's going and nice. show you that it's working. Is there any kind of warranty that comes with them? Um, I believe we have one. You'd have to talk to my owner about that. Okay. Uh, he typically handles and, all of that. And the other big question is, what size hole does this fit on? Is this a like standard 14 by 14? 14 14. You can 14. pull out a Max fan or a uh, standard Dometic and just drop it right in. Super simple install. Red to red, black to black, throw a switch or a fuse in the middle and you're good to go. And you can, you're more than welcome to come take a look at our existing system over here that we Appreciate have. Appreciate it. That's just a, a lot of people ask, like, what do I already have to do? And so many people already have a fan of some sort, or maybe two. So taking one out and put another a, one. Yeah, we also offer an auto start system safe. We're out for uh, an eight hour hike mm -hmm. and the dogs are in the van. These batteries die. It sends an auto start system to turn on our vehicle. We have that the too. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it makes it really nice. It makes it really nice. So it just what does it just run twenty minutes and then shut off and then. Um, ours is actually a two hundred and thirty amp battery charger, so it'll just kick back up until these batteries are fully charged and then okay. it'll shut it off. Mine just runs twenty minutes and then nice. it usually bumps it right back up in twenty minutes. So Sweet. all right, that works. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely Pleasure check that out. With you guys, anything you need at all, give us a call. Uh, NomadicCooling.com for all of our information. All right, guys. Uh, no. Can I get one of your cards and I'll put uh, that in the thing? We actually forgot our cards and that Phoenix, works. So all we'll right, no worries. We have on the side of the van Nomadic Cooling. It says I'll that put this. Can. I'll put that on there. Or 48 volts. Good deal. We so have if you have a 3,000 volt unit, system, you'd be doing a little bit better. Yeah, I got absolutely. It. We also have a mini split available if you need that. Uh, 75 amp compressor or 100 amp compressor on any of our units. And it starts about 3,000, right? 3,000 to 3,800. That works, guys. All right, I'll leave the information in. Here's just another example of what you could do with a big sprinter, you know. I mean, a big, a big ProMaster. Yeah. You know, we have the tiny ProMaster city, and you know, we've been living it for four years now. But this is eventually kind of what we might want to upgrade to. But you know, it's kind of our niche to live in 38 square feet and yeah. travel all around the country. So, but this is beautiful. Thanks. I love Thanks it. for it's showing very us. Spacious. Yeah. Let me let me give you the whole tour here. It works. So this is 
this is the kind of like the office dining room area. And then this will convert here. I take it you haul stuff or you work where you need to have stuff where you can put big stuff in here. That's one of the big reasons people do this oh, is so that? that you have all the room to put anything you need into it when you're working, but it's also functional for you. When Am I wrong or am I you're, right? You're exactly I, right. I figured, I, you know, sometimes I'm right and sometimes I'm <laughs> off, but, and it just pops all the way up into here, guys. And he pretty much oh. hasn't lost, but maybe wow. a foot of room in this van side to side wow. to be able to transport, put in big washer dryer, a big refrigerator, yeah. two by fours, or, or big sheets of plywood. Or, put a uh, snowmobile in here. There you go. Anything That's like that. These so, marks right here from a snowmobile. Oh, of course. I mean, we got the life proof flooring <laughs> from, uh, from Lowe's, but it still scratches when yeah. you get your... When you get rocks in these keens, yeah. it, it doesn't care. So it's the reason I don't have trim here either, because the snowmobile ripped it all. Just off. ripped it off. Yeah, we had trim but, in front of our freezer, fridge, and freezer, and just opening pulling it, it, up. it in and out all the time on those yeah. slides. It's gone. But that's real van life right there. That's real yeah. van life. Well, thanks for showing us your rig. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank do you, you guys build so these, much. or do you, is this? Yep. Okay. Would you like to uh, put your little something on there? We've. Yeah, we got yeah, a few subscribers, a uh, couple, couple million views on YouTube. So. Nice, that's cool. I don't have a name yet. I'm just going with a symbol for now. Good deal. Right. And uh, but that's my. That's how you get a hold of you right there. Info right there. All right. Um, uh, I I envy you guys. I'm like, I, uh, you know, you, you're able to get out there and do everything on YouTube, and I'm. I'm horrible at social media and that yeah, sort of we've thing. We've hit so almost every corner I, in the United States, so. Yeah. <laughs> but I love watching, like, I love watching you guys' and stuff and stuff like that, so it's a. Uh, Thanks a lot. I and appreciate, appreciate the content. Hey, well, that works. So That's much. what it's all about, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we went down the one side, so I guess we'll head down the other. PDX trailer guy. Remember I was talking to you about these over the fender water tanks? Here's one of them guy. I think that's the best way. Less space works out good. If you're building out a van, this might be something you want to do. Seen them at a couple different uh, vendors. Custom cabinets if you're needing cabinets and don't feel like you can build them yourself. around we get to see a lot of cool stuff most of this stuff is uh, kind of out of our price range but that works most of these start about hundred and thirty thousand dollars so we'll look around a little bit more check it out I kind of think this van thing was kind of a bust in a way Unless you got like $150,000 to uh, buy a brand new Sprinter and deck it all out. It's really just about all that was there. So, I guess we're going to look around the marina, check it out, bring you guys with us. Well, since we're here, we might as well come on down here to the marina. Check this out. All the sailboats out there. Dillon Reservoir Recreational Area. Oh. 
beach area. It's nice. You load your kayak or paddle board. Well, it looks like you could just walk right back up next to the Dillon Amphitheater and get back up to the parking lot pretty easy from here. Just a big loop. That's one way to wash your bike, that's for sure. Well, we just kind of hung out right there on the dock. Now we're gonna walk our way back to the van. I don't know, we might come back down here and just kind of relax. Sure. Well, that was really neat to come here and check out all the vans. We enjoyed it. I hope you did too. What was really spectacular actually is just the spot here in Dillon, right here on the water. We got to see all the boats. We really enjoyed that. Thank you so much for coming with us. But I think now we're actually going to get out of here, find something to eat, and even a place to boondock for the night. Yeah, there's not a lot of places you can be by the water and the mountains. And this is one of them. I, I didn't know this existed, but... I'm glad we found this little spot. So yeah, definitely neat. That you know that the, there was a lot of more expensive rigs there today that are kind of you know, I, I'm not sure any of them are really set up to be full time, and they're very expensive. So it, it's just I, it dumbfounds me, guys, that people pay that much for a rig. So, but let's go find some food, I guess. Definitely, and we'll bring you with us. We're gonna wrap up the night with some dinner. We got one of our favorites, Chipotle. Looks delicious as always. I do the burrito, and I mean, Steph does the burrito, and I just we get the bowl, and she just takes a burrito's worth out of it, is what I'm trying to say. But we get the chips too, and I think that's gonna call it a night, guys. We're right here on the stream. I mean, you can't beat the view right here out the side of Chipotle. I mean, that's beautiful. But, I think we're gonna call it a night. What do you think, babe? Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, Comment. and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon and Instagram. Hit the bell for more notifications. We'll see you in the next
one. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm hungry. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Well, there you go. Show them how you do it, little bug. And that just took a little bitty piece of the of the uh, the bowl. Yeah, I think their burritos are just way too big to eat. I got my chips. So, all right, let's do this. Thank you.